Thank you. 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 Jared Bowen with it. Jared, um, well, first and foremost, congratulations on the two performances personally. Uh, and just rewards for bringing in the end there, you left it late. So we did leave it late, kept open on their toes. Um, you know, I think it goes to show you know, the resilience and power to keep going in this squad. And we were very disappointed coming you know, this week with two, two games, two defeats. You know, it's not the standards that you know, have been set over, over the years. And you know, even though the performances have been there, I think um, today I think we deserve more than the draw. But, in the end, we kept fighting and got that goal right at the end. What does it say about the character in the side? That 16 players are missing through injury. You lose John Stone, who's one of the most experienced players on the pitch, very early on as well, and you can still put a performance in at the end and get a result against a world-class opposition. Yeah, and I think everyone played their part. You know, it was Mathers that played before to Jude at the end, and you know, it was all about those players making an impact. And it's not just you know the starting eleven that, that plays. It's been a lot of players used this week, and everyone's come in and you know, look, looked at ease with it. So I think that's a really important thing if you want to be a, you know, a really top top side is having that flexibility in the numbers and all the squad. You've had a lot of game time over these two two games. next things about the Euro squad? I'd have enjoyed it more if the goal was stiff. Um, but no, listen, it's, when I came here it was with the mindset that I've got to do what I do at club level week in, week out. And I think that was, that was the main thing when I got my opportunities. And, you know, you're playing at Wembley for the country, it doesn't get much more special than that. So I think it was just down to me to try and play my game, play the game that I know that I can play. Um, like I said, we are disappointed on that squad. Yeah, let me ask you about that one. I mean, VAR. I, I don't think, think there was VAR in front of us. I'm not going to lie. But I just didn't just didn't cross my mind. It was from a corner and I thought Blanky headed it kind of backwards. And so I, I haven't seen it, but I don't really want to watch it because I've got set for it. As soon as it went in, I was like, oh, well, I've done that, I've scored the goal. And then I went back to halfway and the ref was checking it and I thought, he's definitely disallowing this. This is just my luck, the first goal to be disallowed. But, you know, hopefully there'll be more opportunities to, to score goals. It's cruel sometimes, they are, isn't it? It's not nice, um, you know, like I said, especially in the Premier League, I think that it's VAR. It, like I said, it's been even across my mind and the way the goal happens, sometimes you can get you know, a feel for it, you know, if the cross comes in and you make a run in behind, you can make a feel that you know, I might be offside here, but I just, honestly just didn't have any inkling that it was going to be offside from the corner, but you know, just got to try and keep, keep going. Uh, Jared, you said that all you can do is focus on, on your game and play how you're going to play, but has it felt different for this camp knowing that the next time you potentially meet up is when Gareth Southgate named the squad for the Euros. No, I think I think I spoke to someone after our Villa game when you know before I came into this camp and said that you know I just want to keep doing what I've been doing for club level and bring that here. Um, and you know I can you know I can play my football in, on the biggest stage. And I think that was that was these two games for me were just I didn't know how long I was going to get in either game. So when I got the opportunity, it was you know down to no one else. It was down to me to go out there and play my game. You know, not hide from the occasion so to speak and try and take it all in and show what you can do and I feel like you know, the two games I've showed what I can do. Your performances have been really positive, had, had good feedback, what, but what does it mean to you were in that training room? Yeah, no, it's you were special. Well, I just said that playing it for uh, Wembley for your country is a special and to go to a major tournament would obviously be another level but you know, like I said it's down to back to West Ham now and finishing the season really strongly, um, doing all I can, you know, not coming off the page that I'm on now, um, having a good over to the season and seeing where the squad takes me. Oh, listen, we're playing you know, top, top tier opposition and I think that's what you want to be playing just before the tournament. Um, you know, spoke about the injuries at the start of it and it's missing key key players and put out the performances that we've done over the last two and, and especially tonight because we deserve a lot more I think we've some really good opportunities and some really good players going forward and just kind of gifted the goals to them in the end which you know, against the elite league teams it's, it's hard to do that um, so yeah I think there's a lot of confidence that we can build on from this camp yes we lost one game in Drew we haven't won but you know, I think look at the bigger picture of the performances we know results will come with, with this you know, this, this squad that we've got, and you know, we said it earlier about the resilience and the character to keep going and get you know, the draw in there. Of course, we're not happy with the draw, but you know, we're not sat here after you know, two defeats from two games. I don't know, you tell me, I haven't watched it back yet. Well, maybe, I don't know, I haven't. You know, I was just concentrating on me. 
Oh, you know, I just play, try and play my game as best as I can. You know, let, let people do the talking for me. I just try and do my work on the pitch, and I think that's always been my mindset. Thank you. Thanks, Alan. Everybody happy? John Pickford's with us. Yep. Is it relief at the end of that game? Yeah, I think we've had a, two good um, tests and uh, probably been, I think we've played a really good night and uh, a lot of challenges. Um, and for, for myself, I've made a, a bad, I wouldn't say it's an error, a bad decision, bad uh, execution and uh, it's cost us the first goal. We've got back into it. Then um, I look at a good set piece goal in the game, but offside. Uh, but, you know, never see a die and that's what... That I think it's pleased the manager the most and we've had a good week and um, a lot of injuries but a lot of op opportunities for us as well so it's been a good week. You're always very tough on yourself and yeah. you don't make many mistakes, in fact I can't remember a mistake you've made like that in an England shirt no. but the way you responded to it made a couple of really important saves as well that yeah. speaks about your character doesn't it? Yeah, mentality's always there, you know um, just next next moment I do make sure it's a good one and um, just keep, keep working at high levels and uh, you get your rewards and um, you know, Jude, Jude's quality night, all the lads were fantastic and uh, we didn't deserve to lose the game and um, in the end we've, we've gotten a draw out of it and um, it's good mentality, that sort of stuff, taken into tournament football. 16 England senior players unavailable because of injury and then you lose John Stones in the first few minutes as well. That's tough, isn't it? That's disruptive. And, and look, you're one of the more experienced players in this England squad. Just how tough has it been with so, so many players absent? Yeah, it's always going to be tough, but it's opportunity, and um, I think all the lads who's had that opportunity to grab it with both hands and been fantastic. And um, you know, we work on the training pitch, and whoever starts, you're in the England side for a reason, and the England squad for a reason, because you perform more like your club. And um, yeah, it's been probably hot, a lot harder for the manager, but um, as us as players, we're, we're here on merit, and uh, we keep working and. Um, given the opportunity, we'll, we'll grab it with both hands. Quick one about Cobby Main, who makes his England, first England start at the age of 18. Yeah. Really impressive as well. How's he been around the camp? How impressed have you been by him? Yeah, he's quality. I remember, uh, I think he made his, his debut, uh, his full start for Man United against Everton at the start of the season, and he dictated the game pretty much there. So, and he's, he's, not, he's not been outside since for Man United, so, and he's come in and he's, I think he's just done what he's been doing at Man United, and you can see he's a top talent. We just talking about Jude uh, scoring that last minute goal. How impressed are you still impressed with him and with his mentality? Yeah, his mentality is unbelievable, and um, you know characters like that. You know, he keeps driving the team and he keeps pulling players around him. And um, credit him, he, he takes his chance and gets it. He's had a few other chances in the game, um, but yeah, that's that's what Jude does, and that's what the mentality side of it, that's why he's a top player. And Jordan, you've been in a, to a few major tournaments with England, what's the feeling like in the camp for a squad is named? Is it excitement, is there extra tension, what, what's it like inside there? Um, we know we're, well, we've had two good games against tough opponents and uh, top nations and uh, now it's just about every individual now going back to the clubs and finishing the season off positive and um, doing the best for your clubs and um, hopefully get you, you get the call come, come May when the squad's announced. Cheers. Thanks, everybody. Yeah, thank, you. thank you. Happy? Yeah, yeah congratulations. Thanks. I've been talking with this boy, boy, that must feel quite special for you. Yeah, very special. Very special to get on the score sheet. I think it would have been a little, a little downer if we uh, lost the game, but thankfully you got something from the game for us, and uh, I feel like we did probably deserve something. What about your goal as well, to get your first England goal? And, and from the penalty spot, it feels almost inevitable with you, but it was a, a, a heck of a calm finish. Yeah, I always got to stay calm on the penalty spot. I always do that. I just take my time, walk away with the ball, and uh, you see the keeper trying to come out and put me off, and the players trying to come over. But I just stay calm, make the keeper wait for me, and uh, just sweat in the back of the net. You, you won the penalty as well. How pleased were you with your overall performance? You had to sit there and watch the Brazil game and be patient. Do you feel you took a chance tonight? Um, uh, I hope I did. <laughs> I hope I did. I'm always going to try and work hard. Even when I'm not playing, I'm always supporting the boys and supporting Oli, obviously. That's my competition. But like I say, all the, all the time, it's friendly competition. I wish him all the best every time he goes on the pitch. But yeah, I felt like I've done, done well today. And hopefully I'll, put my, I'll give myself a good chance, put my name forward to uh, be there for the Euros. It's actually a year ago today you made your England England debut. I think you're only the third player to do that. Have a year between between caps. Did it make the goal all the more sweeter after having to wait that while for it? Yeah, I didn't know actually. Peter Beardsley messaged me this morning. That he said you made your debut a year ago today. So that's something I didn't know. But yeah, I think it's extra special a year later. I'm 
they started and scoring a goal. The attack seemed to link really well. You, you was kind of a, a focal point. How was it up there with Phil Foden and Duke Bellingham fighting up here? I mean, with them top class players around me, it's always going to be easier. Um, I think, like you see for the penalty, Jude just sliding the balls down the, down the corner and Phil playing into my feet and running off me and these kind of things. Like it's, it's a joy to play with these players and I'm sure hopefully I can play with them a lot more. And Kobe Main also made his first start just 18, wondering what you, you made of his performance. Yeah, I think at 18 I was probably playing Xbox, but <laughs> <laughs> you got, he's out here being, being a man and playing, playing for England and he carries himself very well. He just glides with the ball and... Uh, there's a lot more to come from it, I'm sure, and I'm sure it goes right to the top. Irvin, one more quick one. After all you've been through, we know how tough the times have been for you. To get back and, and then playing for England and scoring your first goal for England, how special? Is this the sort of thing you were thinking about and dreaming about when you weren't allowed to play for England? Yeah, 100%. Um, I always think positive. Obviously, there's down times, but we've got to think forward. There's no point thinking of things that I can't change. What's done is done, and I've got to think forward, and hopefully I can put things right and be positive. Well, Sorry? The biggest difference? Yeah, in your England's performance. Um, I think we, 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 we played well in both games, but uh, we just didn't really take our chances in the Brazil game. Exactement. Euh, malgré le goal à la fin, c'était comme un beau match à jouer, c'était un beau stade. Et, euh, Franchement, avec, avec Yann à côté de moi, euh, je ne pouvais pas m'imaginer mieux comme, comme premier match un peu et euh, la confiance qu que le groupe m'a donnée, donc euh, je suis heureux. Il bon, y a ce but à la dernière minute qui, euh, qui vous prive d'une victoire ici. Euh, bon, c'est triste que ça arrive, mais est-ce que c'est fondamentalement immérité bah, on peut dire ce qu'on peut. À une minute de la fin, c'était un 2 pour nous. Et je crois qu'on avait un peu le sentiment qu'on avait, qu avait gagné le match. Malheureusement, on prend, on prend le, le but à la dernière seconde. Mais je crois qu'on doit regarder positivement vers, vers l'avant. Et on n'a qu'un seul objectif, et c'est l'Euro. On a vu un visage complètement différent hein, par rapport à la rencontre face à l'Irlande. Euh, bah, Expliquez-nous ce qui a changé dans les mentalités, même pour jouer ce match face à l'Angleterre. Ouf euh, bah, Je crois que la mentalité, elle était aussi là contre l'Irlande. Mais euh, oui, on avait juste, euh, ouais, je ne sais pas comment le dire en fait euh, en français, mais... Vous aviez envie aujourd'hui, ça se voyait que vous aviez envie de bouffer le terrain Oui, d'office, on voulait vraiment montrer ce qu'on qu vaut et euh, on, a, on en a parlé du match aussi euh, après le match d'Irlande à l'hôtel, etc. Et je crois qu'on doit apprendre et juste euh, aller positivement vers, vers le prochain match. Et tout. On a vu aussi que la Belgique peut faire mal en, en, en contre parce que vous avez été dominé très souvent. Oui, c'est vrai. Je crois qu'on doit apprendre à jouer de différents styles contre de différentes équipes. Et je crois qu'aujourd'hui, on a montré qu'on qu est capable de jouer un bloc bas et, et de jouer sur le contre. Donc c'est un, un bilan positif pour, pour ces deux matchs face à l'Irlande et face à l'Angleterre. Vous partez avec un sentiment positif avant ce rassemblement de l'Euro Oui, on a tous ce sentiment euh, Peut-être que vous voyez que les deux matchs, mais on a aussi beaucoup d'entraînement dans ce, dans ce stage. Donc euh, je crois qu'on a eu un, un sentiment positif et le coach l'a dit aussi dans, dans le cercle. Faut, il faut penser vers l'avant et regarder match par match. Et maintenant, c'est à nous de, de bien s'entraîner euh, dans notre propre club aussi. Oui, peut-être le sentiment vous à titre personnel d'avoir pu marquer des points ce soir parce qu'on a tout joué avec FAS ici et là c'était votre tour aussi. Oui, euh, tout d'abord je voulais remercier, euh, remercier le, le, le coach pour euh, cette occasion. J'ai juste essayé de, de jouer mon match et, et de faire mon mieux et c'est au coach de, 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 de me dire ce qui a été bon, ce qui a été euh, moins bon. Mais euh, moi personnellement j'ai un sentiment plutôt positif donc euh, je vais continuer avec ça. Merci beaucoup. Merci, Merci à vous. Yuri Tillemans, racontez-nous votre soirée ici à Wembley. Ah, euh, différentes émotions, je pense qu'on commence très bien le match, on, on mène au jeu et puis malheureusement on, on concerne un penalty. on revient au jeu et puis le fait d'encaisser dans les derniers instants du match comme ça, c'est frustrant parce qu'on trouvait qu'on avait, voilà, qu avait vraiment bien travaillé malgré leur qualité, ils ont montré leur qualité tout le match, on a, on a souffert par moments et par moments on a vraiment su essayer de s'aérer, de créer des occasions. Donc, 
en général un, un match très positif de notre part et malheureusement on, on perd dans les derniers instants qui est frustrant. Avec un doublé quand même pour vous, hein, ce qui est un doublé à Wembley, vous qui jouez en Angleterre, ça doit quand même être un sentiment particulier. Oui, c'est sûr, peu importe où on joue, je pense que Wembley est un, sta un stade mythique et marqué ici, c'est toujours un plaisir, donc euh, voilà, je suis très content. Bon, il y a ce premier but où vous mettez déjà une belle frappe du gauche, hein, vous voyez le, le gardien qui, qui se replace en fait Oui, c'est ça, je vois, je vois toute l'action se passer en fait, je sais qu'il revient de loin et qu'il qui sprint pour essayer de se remettre au milieu de son but. Donc euh, voilà, j'ai essayé de la placer euh, croisée, ça, ça a bien fonctionné. Expliquez-nous le deuxième, parce que celui-là, il part de très très loin. Oui, c'est sûr, je pense qu'on fait une action euh, côté gauche, si je me souviens bien, et puis euh, on, on sort très très bien de leur pression. Et puis j'essaie de lancer Romelu avec sa vitesse, on sait qu'il qu peut faire mal. Et puis voilà, il met un, il y a un caviar sur ma tête, j'ai juste à fermer les yeux et, et marquer. De manière générale, on sent que vous avez fait un, un gros match quand même aujourd'hui dans une, dans une position peut-être plus haut sur le terrain que, que d'habitude. Vous aviez à cœur de faire un, un, un gros match quand même pour vous réaffirmer dans, dans cette équipe oh, Non, on a, on a toujours à cœur de faire un bon match, de défendre le, les couleurs du pays. Et puis voilà, moi j'essaye d'apporter ma qualité, mon expérience, euh, malgré mon, mon jeune âge. Et euh, l'entraîneur m'avait demandé aujourd'hui de vraiment essayer de chercher les espaces derrière les milieux de terrain. Je pense que j'ai bien fait mon travail et on continue là-dessus. Donc le bilan de, de ces matchs ici euh, en mars, c'est quoi C'est plutôt positif Plutôt positif, on a beaucoup appris, euh, on a fait des erreurs, ce qui est tout à fait normal. Et voilà, tout ne sera pas toujours beau et rose. Maintenant, c'est à nous d'essayer de, d'analyser, de, de s'améliorer d'ici juin. Comment est-ce qu'on l'explique quand on a une soirée comme ça où, où tout réussit Parce qu'il n'y a pas seulement les deux buts, il y a aussi des moments où vous retournez avec le ballon, quand vous, quand vous pressiez. Ça, on a l'impression que chaque fois que vous aviez le contact avec le ballon, ça réussissait. Comment est-ce qu'on explique ça Non, je pense que c'est le travail. Le travail, c'est le plus important. Je continue à travailler de jour en jour. Et puis, je suis bien aidé par mes coéquipiers. On a essayé de trouver les espaces. On, on l'a bien fait par moment. Il y a eu des, des moins bons moments aussi. On aurait pu sortir... Euh, avec plus de courage et, et voilà, je pense qu'on doit continuer sur cette lancée, essayer d'aller de l'avant et je suis sûr qu'en juin on sera prêt. En défense, aujourd'hui en défense centrale, il y avait deux ans d'heure euh, le fait d'avoir deux ans d'heure derrière vous, euh, qu'est-ce que ça vous fait de vous lancer dans deux Non, c'est sûr, ça fait toujours plaisir, après on est, on est un groupe, peu importe les, les joueurs qui jouent dans quel club, ça n'a ça pas d'importance, une fois qu'on est ici, on est, on est là pour défendre le pays et, euh, et c'est le plus important. Le retour de Romelu aujourd'hui, ça a fait du bien à l'équipe aussi Oui, c'est sûr, on sait que Romelu il a l'expérience euh, avec le brassard euh, sur le bras, il, il nous fait du bien, il pèse sur une défense et, et voilà, on a vu ce soir, surtout avec cette, euh, cette passe décisive qui me met, qu'il nous fait du bien et qu'on ouais, on va en avoir besoin. Il n'y a que comme ça qu'il pouvait vous la mettre en fait, à cet extérieur du pied Oui, c'est sûr, ben, je la voyais venir, j'y croyais et j'ai continué ma course, donc euh, je suis très content. Merci beaucoup. Merci.